a lot of folks want to know why it is my car says solar powered electric vehicle all over it when it obviously has no onboard solar power. The reason is I charge mine from the solar power on my roof all day long. It sits and generates power. Whether the car is here or not, I'm running on the battery that was charged from the solar panels. When I come back, I plug it in, I spin the meter in the traditional forward way. When I'm gone or parked right here without charging, this, the meter is spinning backwards. I'm earning credit. I'm making energy right now, which I will later use to charge this car. People often complain that that's cheating, uh, that it's not a solar powered car because it doesn't have solar power on it. And my normal response to that is, do you make gasoline in your gasoline powered car? No, it's made somewhere else. You store it in the car in the tank and you burn it when you need it. Here I'm making the power on my roof. I store it in the batteries. I use it when I need it. Charging the car is extremely simple. It's, uh, it's easier than plugging in, in your cell phone, in fact. Charge port, paddle from the charger. That's the entire process. People ask me how long it takes to charge this car. My normal response is three seconds, and that's being pretty generous because all I do is pull the paddle out of the charger and I stick it in the car, and then I go about my business. I'm not investing any more time than that in charging this car. When I go to fill up with gasoline, I certainly spend more time driving out of my way to the station, having to pay, having to pump, having to put the cap back on, and then make my way back uh, home or wherever I'm going. Here, I, I was driving home anyway. I drive into my garage, I plug it in, and then I go do something else. When I'm ready to leave, I come back out, unplug the car, and be on my way. So I'm going to show you the entire process. Are you paying attention? Boom! That's the whole thing. I have a, about a 2.5 kilowatt system. Covers about 250 square feet of my roof, which is about half of my garage roof. That's enough to cover my entire household usage as well as the car being driven 11,500 miles a year on average. Here's the whole system in order. You got the sunlight comes into the panels, goes into the inverter, into my meter for my house, and the car gets charged right here. Now I normally don't charge in the middle of the day. This happens to be the weekend, so there's no peak. Normally I charge it at night the paddle in this case is inductive, meaning there are no contacts whatsoever. You can uh, stick this thing in your mouth. You can charge, uh, literally, you can charge underwater. It's kind of like uh, electric toothbrushes use. Uh, 